All right, welcome to this uh, this live streamed event. That if you're watching this after it being live streamed, uh, you're probably watching on YouTube or on uh, video on demand on Twitch. I uh, want to invite you to check out the show while it is live because you'll get uh, this kind of information on a daily basis, uh, ongoing live as it happens. So you don't have to watch it on our pre-recorded uh, uh, video on YouTube. Uh, you can watch it happen live. We look at charts. We talk about technical analysis. Uh, we've got plenty of people uh, chiming in with their charts and their thoughts in the chat boxes and on our Discord. Uh, but yeah, check out the show live. Uh, I am on periodically throughout the day 24-7. So there's not a real set schedule. It usually depends on price action. Just like uh, most traders, uh, I've got some alarms set that wake me up in the middle of the night. So I invite you to come check out the channel. That's twitch.tv slash Bonavest. And right now what we're going to talk about is well, the price action that we've been seeing right now. Right now as we look at the charts here, uh, we've been ranging at 7400 And we just had a really big movement um, on the 4-hour charts. I took uh, a signal of a buy signal on the 4-hour chart uh, not even more than two days ago, uh, 48 hours ago here, we, we had some uh, a strong buy signal that we had not gotten in quite a while. And uh, based on that, I was actually in a short when it went up. So I took a little bit of a loss, but I ended up FOMOing up towards the top here on the 15 minute, got out of my short, went long, uh, and have been trying to follow this up as we go. So just looking at where we're at right now, I'm kind of comparing on the short term here on the four hour chart to what we did previously uh, further back. Uh, we pretty much hit the 55 SMA, ranged a little bit, threw off a couple of sell signals, and then we moved up higher. Um, currently, there seems to be a little bit of an action on LTC, and uh, some people uh, truly believe that uh, LCT usually leads BTC. So that's what we're waiting on right now. But what we're really going to talk about in this video is about where could we go now? I, I had done a uh, quarter one uh, prediction for a Bitcoin called on TradingView called quarter one, uh, let's just relax kind of a, th a thing. So in other words, we were so used to all the ups and downs and the big swings and coming down from 20,000 that quarter one was going to end up in March to be something like, okay, we got to chill out a little bit. And that's what pretty much what happened. Uh, on the This is pretty much the, the updated live chart of what my trading idea was. And it actually went really well. You can check it out on TradingView. Uh, we were somewhere around here in the, the yellow uh, circle here when I made the prediction. And we tapped into, I've moved this red uh, box down a little bit. The original red box was here in the shaded area. But we tapped on the edge of my uh, sell box uh, twice. So that was relatively good. I would have expected to get a little bit more into my box, but I'm good with it uh, just tapping it twice. It gave a good enough signal to say, okay, good. It met the, the, the metrics I was hoping to see. This is all following the fractal from 2014. So after that, we did plummet down. We, we tapped into the buy box. We went up. We came down definitely into the buy box at this point. And this is where we are at right now where we got that uh, buy signal on the four hour. So the thoughts are, well, where are we at in the fractal now? And where can we be going? Uh, if you look at it now, where the circles are at is pretty much where I think those match up. This is where I think they match up now. Originally in my idea, I was circling the 200 SMA, the 200 SMA, and that's what matched up. But now I'm starting to believe we're further along. What I found out is that from 2014 to 2018, we're working at about four times as fast. So if it took, say, 40 days to make a movement up, uh, here to today's time, it's taking about a fourth of that, which is going to be like 10 days. So you can imagine how uh, fast forward we could be moving uh, through the whole fractal. So if you look at the elongated uh, circle here, we kind of got a uh, sort of a, a double top here. Um, this was actually found out by a user in our chat that brought it to my attention. I'm, I apologize. I don't remember uh, the name of the person, but uh, I remember they mentioned it to me. And uh, the double top here on this fractal from 2014 really does kind of match up with the, the double top that we did here. So then I started making me think that we're much further forward. So at the point that we're in this buy box, we aren't actually uh, here because remember, I was thinking originally that uh, we were matching up the 200 SMA with the 200 SMA and that this buy box was representative of this down action right here. But after seeing uh, the, the matching of the M pattern, I'm kind of thinking this double top works with this uh, fractal here and we're actually somewhere further down here. Now this got me thinking that if we are there, there's some really big movements here uh, to the upside. Now, once again, this is fast forwarded. So a lot of this stuff gets squished together. So here we've got a down with an up and a down and it's like big waves. 
but really it gets condensed when you start looking at times four. So what I'm thinking or what I was thinking uh, last night was that, you know, if we're down here, we could be seeing some major up action. This here uh, from the bottom of say this tip to this tip is 65% over 39 days. Now, 39 days going at the four times speed, that's only 10 days. So in the matter of a week to two weeks, uh, that's a, a jump of 65% from the bottom. So if we looked at this tip now, it went 65%. Uh, yeah, it's moving up pretty big, good. That's at almost $11,000. Now, hold your horses. This is what I was going through last night, kind of saying, okay, I'm on the bullish side. Wow, check this out. You know, look how this matches up. So let's just go through it real quick. Follow along with me. I am going to uh, give a, an alternative viewpoint here. But uh, follow me right now. This is a 65% from tip to tip if we are down at that point. Um, counting the waves, it, it actually counts out pretty good. you got to remember this is four times. So counting from the top of the M, we kind of have one wave here. There's a little bit of an up, another wave down to here. That's two, a bit of an up, and then down is a three. So there's, there's your three waves. And if you've been trading BTC for a while, you kind of notice things come in three waves. So there's a three wave before uh, making a, a definite change, making higher lows and so forth. Uh, here where we're at right now, from the top of the end, we've got one wave, kind of an up, two waves, and then an up, and then the third wave. So once again, we've got three waves in a much shorter amount of time. Uh, the amount of time from tip to tip from the M is uh, 27 days, whereas over here, from that tip to this tip is about uh, 95 days. So uh, definitely a, a time difference. It's about th a third, so uh, three times. So things are definitely much faster now if, if this is where we're at. Um, so follow along with me. The next chart we'll look at, a daily Renko chart. Now this is a Renko chart. I also did a little video on, on how to use the Renko chart. So if you don't know how to use them, check me out on TradingView. There's an actual video on TradingView explaining how to use it. And... Uh, Checking this out, this is an EW. I just drew the lines here with the, the numbers just so you can kind of get an idea of these waves that I'm talking about. But if we zoom out, um, um, this is the high from like, uh, this is uh, actually Bitfinex and uh, it's like 20, the 20,000 peak down to the 6,000 low. And the funny thing is, is that if you look at this chart, you'll notice that the green dotted line is a 7,000 price level. Um, now you're wondering, well, wait a second, we went down to six, how come it only goes to seven? Well, that's, that's the Renko. Uh, we actually went down to six and right back up to seven within the same day. So on Rinko, the, the bars didn't paint because we ended the price at the end of the day. Now, the, the cool thing is, or the thing that I was looking at last night was very strange, was that, well, after doing all the ups and downs, we came back recently where this uh, last buy signal was on the four hour, and we actually double bottomed. It was six and a half K. Uh, there was actually on uh, Kraken, I trade on Kraken, there was like a 2,400 coin buy wall uh, on Kraken exactly at 6,500 and it literally sat there until it got taken away. And then what happened after it got taken away? Well, we know what it is. Freaking had a huge Jesus candle, uh, that shot up, uh, right up, you know, how many, how much was this? Uh, this was a jump. Just that one four hour candle was a uh, $458. So that was definitely a big move up 7% at the current pricing. So definitely a big shot up. And now we have this weird, on, on this Renko bar chart, a double bottom. Very strange, huh? So then it got me thinking, well, wait a second, you know, what is the reaction going to be to that? If if that truly is the bottom, let's say that is a double bottom, six, six and a half K, eh, it's about the same. Uh, what would be the effects of that? Well, there was a uh, another trading idea that I did that I kind of did based on the fact that the my audience, you know, there's always going to be bears and there's always going to be bulls. So even though I hate charts that point both directions, um, I actually gave some some reasons behind it on the description of my trading view idea for the bearish and the bullish side of things. Um, I was at this point a little bit on the bullish side, but we were much higher. We were much higher. We were somewhere around in this area here. Now, what happened was I in that idea, I described that this yellow uh, box was going to be like a bounce zone. Well, we blew through that. That, that was not there. Uh, that was based off a of Fibonacci number, but obviously we blew right through it. There was another measurement I made, and I can't remember um, how I used it. I believe it was a different type of Fibonacci range tool. And in this, there's a shaded box here, and that actually was the right one. Uh, if we go to regular candles, those were Heiken Ashi. If we go to look at regular candles, the bodies of the candles stayed within that shaded box. 
Uh, we did wick down a little bit lower, but all of the bodies for four days stayed within that box. And so now I'm feeling like maybe that is the bounce zone and we're going to see a bounce here now. So where we're at in current price, we should be expecting some uh, higher movement to the upside. And these vertical lines that you see are the Ichimoku number theory uh, uh, progression of the, the numbers for Ichimoku. And uh, right now we're at the 42 line. And the way these work is that typically within a day before or after, um, there is a reversal happening. So we're kind of in that range of we hit a, a buy signal here. We've got a nice little uh, candle pattern here saying that we're going to the upside. Uh, we did for the last two days. So we're continuing to move up, I believe. The original idea was that this 55 SMA would start to roll down because of the, the decreasing price. It really hasn't rolled down. It's kind of gone sideways. If you look at the, uh, the SMAs, they literally run side by side. So very interesting. Um, that is why I also think that on this bounce, as we move up, it probably will go to that SMA, the, the 55 SMA. But that price right now currently is at 9,100. I mean, 9,200 almost. So that is a really big jump. Um, not sure that that's really going to roll down very much if we keep moving up. Uh, so if we go to that, that, the whole decision of bull or bear was at the point at which uh, we were at this 42 line. Actually, it was a little earlier. I think I uh, highlighted a box here. So we actually are at the e outer edge of that decision point to go bull or bear. And uh, so right now what I'm thinking is we're going to continue to move up as high as we can go. The Kijinsen is a magnet for the price sometimes. That's at 81.62. Now that kind of lies in a little bit more in my my current uh, belief of where we're headed in the near term is around the 8100. Uh, we can see that going back to the more current chart here and look at a four hour chart and see that uh, when we hit the 55 and we kind of went sideways, the, the after action pushing up went to these big white dotted lines, which are the monthly pivot point. Now our current monthly pivot point is at 8300. We didn't quite touch it the last time. I don't think we're gonna touch it again this time. But if you look at where we jumped back up again, we did push up above the cloud and kind of hovered above it shortly uh, following this purple trend channel. Now we're outside the channel. And if you know anything about channels and trend lines, when you break through one, you usually go back to retest the backside, but it usually leads to more up. So what I'm thinking now is that since we've broken out of that channel, and if we move further and do like we did before and push up to the top side of this cloud, it's going to be really interesting because at that point, we're going to be at 8,100. That's kind of where this SMA is at. This SMA, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, decision point that I was talking about here, when it hits that uh, SMA and we, we touch all these positions up here, they're all in the in that range of, of 8,100. That's what the key is at, 8,162. So definitely I'm going to be targeting near term 8,162. But I also had these ideas of like freaking 10, 15,000. You're probably wondering, how the hell did you figure that out? Well, there they are. Sorry, they were hidden. On the TDI, I follow the Traders Dynamic Index. It's a, a indicator you can get free on TradingView. And what I've found recently in Bitcoin, the way it moves, only recently, this doesn't happen all the time and it doesn't happen uh, back in 2014, that there are two humps and a bump. So bear with me here. Uh, what you typically see is you'll have a bump, a hump here, a hump here, and then the price will go up, usually to te uh, either cross or test this orange midline, and then come back down to make a higher low on the indicator, but the price usually makes a lower low. Uh, at that point is a great time to go long. Same kind of pattern happens on the inverse side when you're trying to go short. Uh, but right now, we're at a point where we've hit this sell zone, I mean buy zone. This is the buy zone down here between the two white lines. And we're already crossing up. And because we've done the two humps, what I'm expecting is a little bit of an extra up that either crosses this orange line, maybe gets to the mid line before coming back down and making that higher low, um, which is where this sniper target is waiting for. Now, this happens even on other time frames. We can take a look here. I've got one mapped out here. This is the four hour and uh, same kind of action. You've got one hump, the second hump, with, which is much lower. And then you can see where I'm talking about. It moves up really big and then uh, crosses over the orange line, kind of comes out of that uh, sell zone, and then comes back down to make a higher low. Now, in this case here, once again, it made the higher low on the TDI indicator, but we actually went much lower. So what I'm expecting on the daily, you got to think in daily terms, we're going to move quite a bit. If there's a little bit of upside here, uh, we could easily get up to that uh, 8100 that we were talking about, maybe even hit the, uh, the super trend line here, which is this red line right here. And that's sitting at 86.79. So 
So these are some big targets on a big time frame. But ultimately, I believe we are still going to be going a little bit lower to follow this fractal, which you can see if even if where this green box is at is here, even with some up action that I expect to see, which could do that whole uh, 60 some percent from the bottom here, 62 percent, we still going to go a little bit lower. And I think that's their our ultimate goal is to see that lower low uh, with the indicators and oscillators, RSI, stochastics, things like that, making a higher low. Um, so price goes lower low, uh, oscillators go higher low, and then I think we can say that there is a, a, a definite bottom being put in. Uh, whether it is the absolute bottom, whether or not we, we revisit that. Uh, in this case here, this is the 2014 fractal. This was the bottom, but as we move forward, we got pretty close to coming back down again uh, before moving higher. Here it is right here. So this is the last dip before we took off and we never went back. So this is definitely what I'm looking to, to, to uh, see happen. The, the 12, 15,000 I initially thought uh, yesterday, I kind of toned back from and said, yeah, you know, maybe it's not going to get up to there. We're not quite there yet. Uh, we're not at that bottom bottom yet. Uh, so this is definitely something to trade from. Keep in mind, a lot of these charts are uh, available. Uh, I put out pictures and images. I show them, live stream them all the time. So come join us, uh, twitch.tv slash Bonavis. Hopefully this has helped you out. Maybe you can make some money off of it. And at that point, hey, come, come give us a check out. Give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, follow, that sort of thing. Uh, really appreciate it. we got a growing community typically we have 100 to 150 viewers at any given time 24 7 uh, i wish and hope that you will be one of them all right this is bonavest we'll check you later stay calm and stay trading